4 can be written as 2 square. X square plus Y square is equal to 2 square represent a circle with center origin and carefully you apply limit so that here only upper limit exists because lower limit is 0 because circle is X square plus Y square is equal to A square radius is A and line A by root plus A square by 4 into pi by 4 A square by 2 into pi by 4 Welcome to the session dear students Today we will go ahead with the problems of application of integrals x is 8.1 so now first find the area of region in the first quadrant enclosed by the x axis line x is equal to root 3y and the circle so you know circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4 i taught you x square plus y square is equal to 4 is a circle with center origin the center of this circle is what origin and radius is 2 units it is in the form x square plus y square is equal to 2 square so radius is 2 units. This is a circle with center origin, x axis, y axis and origin is the center and this point is 2 comma 0 because the radius is what I call this as A. Radius is, it is in the form x square plus y square is equal to 2 square. 4 can be written as 2 square. x square plus y square is equal to 2 square represent a circle with center origin and radius 2 units. Then line y is equal to root 3x. See line y is equal to mx is always line passing through origin. Line passing through what origin? One point on origin, one point intersects the circle. Now they want you to find the area bounded by this line. This is the line x is equal to root 3y. And this is a circle. I need to find the area. Now I need to find this area. So for this what we do, we will draw perpendicular. See observe, I am dividing, I call it as B. So now I will divide it into two regions. So now area bounded by the line and x axis between these two points. Area And this point is the point of intersection. First I need to find this point. This point is a point where line cuts the circle. I A B is there, C I will say. So to find that point of intersection, solve the equations. So x square plus y square is equal to 4. Here we have x is equal to root 3y. Call it as 1. x is equal to root 3y in the place of x and squaring on both sides. x square will become root 3 3 y square. So I need x. So y square is x square by 3. Now substitute this equation 2 in 1. So then you will get x square plus x square by 3 is equal to 4. I am substituting the value of y square. y square is x square by 3. I will put y square as x square by 3. So x square plus x square by 3 is this and 3x square plus x square is equal to 3 fours are 12 or 4x square is equal to 12 or x square is equal to 12 by 4 4 ones are 4 3 so x is plus or minus root 3 in first quadrant it will be plus root 3 see point of intersection one point is root 3 the other point is y but i need this this is root 3 b cuts x axis at root 3 now now please observe So now I can divide the area into what this part and I can take this part. So now can I say and I got point of intersection. So here I got point of intersection as root 3 comma y. So this is 0. This is b is root 3 and this is 2 radius on x axis. This point is, is this. So now can I say required area, required area A is equal to area of O area of O C B O 
CBO plus area of BCA, BCAB. Now please observe area of OCOB means area bounded by line and x axis. This is area bounded by line and x axis. That is integration of x1 to x2 y dx. This is area bounded by circle and x axis. Integration of x1 to x2 y dx. Here the total area is x1 to x2. See for this x1 is 0, x2 is root 3. 0 to root 3 y dx. This is y is line from the line. And here root 3 to 2, root 3 to 2 y dx. This here, this is line and x axis. And this is circle and x axis. Circle and x axis. So therefore, that is 0 to root 3 y from the line. So they gave x is equal to root 3. Line is, what is the line? This line is x is equal to root 3 y. And I need y. y is what? x by root 3. So y is x by root 3 dx plus root 3 to 2 y. y from circle. What is the circle? Circle they give if you refer. The circle is x square plus y square. Circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4. So y square is 4 minus x square and y is root of 4 minus x square plus or minus but I want first quadrant so positive I will take. So y is from circle, from circle x square dx. Now you know how to integrate this. This is x square by 2 and root 3 is there. From where to where? 0 to root 3 plus you know this is x by 2 root of 4 minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. Sin inverse x by a means 2. From where to where? They can, this is root 3 to 2. Now apply limits. And carefully you apply limit so that here only upper limit exists because lower limit is 0. Upper limit root 3, root 3 square is 3 by, okay, root 3 square by 2 root 3 minus I will not put lower limit or minus lower limit is 0, 0 by anything is 0 plus here upper limit is 2, 2 if I put 2 square is 4, 4 minus 4 0, upper limit this whole thing becomes 0 plus, upper limit for this whole thing becomes 2 1s are 2 2s are 2 into sin inverse 1 that is pi by 2. This is upper limit. Minus lower limit means in the place of x I should put root 3. Lower limit exists here. So root 3 by 2. Root 3 square is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Root 1 plus 4 by 2 is 2. Sin inverse root 3 by 2. What is the sin inverse root 3 by 2? 60. 60 means pi by 3. Simplify this, it will become 1 root 3, 1 root 3 I can cancel, so it will be root 3 by 2. 0 you can leave it, 0 you can leave it, 2 to cancel, so it will be pi by 2. Sorry, pi or 2 pi by 2, let it be, later I will cancel, plus root 3, plus 2 pi by 3 or solve it carefully. So here, this will become root 3 by 2. 0 as you leave plus pi minus root 3 by 2 minus 2 pi by 3. So I can cancel these two pi minus 2 pi by 3, 3 pi minus 3 pi minus 2 pi by 3, pi by 3. This is the area. I have found out area under the line and x axis. This is area under the line and x axis. This is area under the circle and x axis. Circle x axis, line x axis. This plus this is the total area. Using integration, we have solved it. Applying limit, you should be very careful. Upper limit minus lower limit, only upper limit exists root 3 square by 2 root 3, 1 root 3, 1 root 3 cancels, it will be root 3 by 2. Lower limit becomes 0. Here, upper limit for this becomes 0. So, 0 and for this, it will become 2 into sin inverse 1, sin inverse 1 is pi by 2, cancels it will be pi. And lower limit, lower limit carefully you should apply, so it will be root 3 by 2, this will become root 3 square is 3, so this is gone 1, it will become. And this whole thing is upper limit plus 2 times root 3 by 2, so it will become 
2 pi by 3, but outside we have minus. So, when you expand, you will get the answer as pi by 3 square units. Next, find the area of, sorry, find the area of smaller part of the circle, x square plus y square is equal to a square, cut off by x is equal to a by root. So, now, x axis, y axis. So, now circle x square plus y square is equal to a square, circle with center origin, radius is a. So, this is at a, here to here it is a, the point a. And the line x is equal to a by root, a by root 2 is less than a. So, say this is the line a by root. Now, they want you to find the area bounded by smaller part of the circle. So, now 0 to here to here a by root 2 to a. So, you know this length total is a, radius is a. Suppose if a is say root 2, root 2 by root 2 becomes 1. Suppose if I assume a is root 2, just to uh, approximate, then root 2 by root 2 becomes what 1. So, on this, this is 1, this is root 2, root 2 means what 1.414, this is 0, 0 to 1 is 1 unit, this is 0.41 unit, so this is a smaller part, they want this area, so they want smaller part area, so this is a smaller area I concluded, or from the diagram you can conclude, smaller part means this much, so area bounded by the curve and x axis, always I will say same, area bounded by the curve and x axis is, a is equal to integration of, or if you know x is equal to constant is a line parallel to y axis at a by root 2. a by root is less than a and this is a smaller part compared to this. So, now relevant diagram, say circle is with center what? Origin, center I have drawn origin, radius is a because circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square, radius is a and line a by root 2 will be here. This is a by root 2. They want you to find the smaller part, find the area of smaller part of the circle cut off by this line. Means you need this. First, I will find this part, circle and x axis. Then this, they have not mentioned in which quadrant. So, that is why required area is, I will say 2 times x1 to x2 y dx x1 to x2, it varies from a by root 2 to a, y means from the circle. From the circle, if you solve for y, y square is equal to a square minus x square, y is root of a square minus x square. So, in the place of y, I will put root of a square minus x square dx. Now, you know integration of this. So, integration of this is x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus sin inverse x by a x by a from where to where? Here it is a by root 2, it is a mistake. x is a by root 2, so you also take a by root 2. a by root 2. Now, apply upper limit, lower limit because this part I will find and I will find this. This is the smaller part compared to the remaining part. That is 2 times. 2 if you take in 2 times x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus sin inverse x by a from a by root 2 to a. Upper limit in the place of x if you put upper limit, upper limit is a. So, here if I assume a square minus a square is 0, 0 into anything is 0, 0 plus here if I take a it will become 1, this is a square by 2, a square by 2, a by a is 1 a square by 2, sin inverse a by a is 1 pi by 2 minus lower limit. What is the lower limit in the plex of x put a by root 2? If I put a by root 2, a by 2 root 2 it will be into a by root 2 the whole square becomes a square by 2, a square by 2, see this whole square becomes a square by 2, 1 minus half is half, so it will become a square by 2 another. Then a square minus a square by 2 is a square by 2 plus it is simple. See here a square minus 
a by root to the whole square is a square by 2. 1 minus half is half, so a square by 2. Now, plus a square by 2 into a by root 2, if I put, it will become 1 by root 2. So, a, a, a cancel sin inverse 1 by root 2. You know, sin inverse 1 by root is pi by 4. So, 2 times a square pi by 4 minus a by 2 root 2, it will become a by root 2 plus a square by 4 into pi by 4, a square by 2 into pi by 4. Simplify this further 2 times a square pi by 4 minus a square by root 2 into root 2 is uh, 2, 2 to the 4 plus a square pi by 8. Here we have a square 0 plus a square pi by 2 a square pi by 4, upper limit is a square pi by 4, minus lower limit is, hmm. now you can simplify, you can take common or leave it, take 2 inside, a square pi by 2 minus a square pi 2 plus a square pi by 8, you can take what common, a square pi I can take common by 2 I can take common I will be left out with pi minus 1 plus pi by 4 now further if you want you can simplify 4 pi plus pi 5 pi so 1 by 4 or you can simplify this or leave it so, all of you understood this. They want area bounded by smaller part of this line and they have not mentioned smaller part of the circle and this. This is the line and this, they did not mention in first quadrant or anything. So, therefore, between these two. So, I will find this part. I will multiply 2 to this because these two are equal parts. 2 into this. This is a by root 2 to a area bounded by circle and x axis. I hope all of you understood this. So, like this, first we need to geometrically draw it, then we have to find to find the exact value. I hope all of you understood. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.